All right. Greetings, true believers. It's your old pal Gutshot Clown, the original gangster gamer, child of the 80s. Back here playing City of Heroes again with my, well, like I said, fairly new tune, level 9, the Energy Pigeon, an Energy Energy Blaster. So, um, I'm just finished off here. I'm seeing an icon uh, because I'm, I will actually just filmed only one. I called it uh, City Heroes Explained. It's a short YouTube video, about 10 minutes long. And in that video, I covered costumes and the costume uh, system here in City of Heroes. I plan to make a few more. If you've got ideas about what you'd like to see explained about City of Heroes or other retro games, let me know. You can drop comments in my chat, go to my Twitter, uh, tweet at me, go to my YouTube channel, drop me a subscribe, comment on my videos, find me on TikTok, wherever. But if you want to see some content, let me know. So uh, let me see here. So what I'm going to do here is I want to change up my costume because... Uh, last time so go down here hit the okay and i want the uh where's the crow emote here order crows and we're gonna change it up a little bit here boom there and we are off once again to the races here let's leave icon let me see here i thought i saw my enhancements were full or were they full? No. Oh, let's see if I got any here I can drop in. Uh, I've already saved that one. That's a good one. Uh, is that usable? These are all usable, looks like. Ah, that's not usable. Well, I want that one. Uh, no. They're all usable, I guess. So I guess I'll save them for now. I have any slots. I guess my level up, I'll, uh, I'll be able to get a slot on that one. All right, I'm away from leveling up. So let's go and see what our mission is up to. Last time, I think I was in... Um, King's Row. Yes, that's right. I just defeated Chernobog, one of the... Uh, I guess you could call them boss skulls, basically. Let's find my... Uh, oh, there it is. The... Uh, train station. Now, I'm in Atlas Park here, and usually the missions go up to about level 10, and then it basically, you know, quietly encourages you to go to another zone. And in this case, it's King's Row. Another night, maybe I might show you um, a sewer speed run. So if you play uh, the game enough and make up enough tunes, and you actually want to, you know, skip levels and all that, you can power level using the, uh, the sewer missions, basically. It's actually kind of cool, but like I said, I'm playing from scratch too, and I want everybody to experience content with me. So I'm uh, taking my time and just kind of going through it step by step here. Like I said, there's so much of this game to enjoy. The missions are well written. Uh, some of them are pretty good. So like I said, why not just enjoy the ride? All right, so if I'm at contact, there he is. I can call her, okay. Can't believe it, you did it. You stopped super nice shipment and rested to one of the, that's what, yeah, left or, yeah, that's me. Uh, I'm just thinking is real. Thank you. Hey, I got an email from a guy that's me. Eagle Eye of the Regulators, a superhero group that cracked down drugs throughout the 1980s. Long live the 80s. Uh, anyways, he said he wanted to meet you, and I told him I'd put you two in contact. Ah, uh, sure, I'll take. Eagle Eye. Former member of the Okay, sure, what else is going on? No other missions. Okay. Like I said before, you can go through the missions um, in the chain, basically, and in, in, the, in the zone. And, you know, uh, if you're doing the... Um, the storylines, you get better XP, but you have an option in rows from King Ro King Rose on up and zones from King Rose on up. Pardon me, to actually go see a detective. They'll give you a, a radio, a mission radio. You do random missions, and then again, as people who have already done the contact uh, content, do I do it again? You do these missions basically and have random missions spawned in the zone. Not bad. I'm on one bar off of ten. See what the regulars got here for me. All right. I read all about you and your pigeon, especially your work. You've been doing and taking fight with skull. Yeah, that's me. Back in a brawler. That's the backyard. That's uh, the back alley brawler. One of the big eight heroes. Along with the rest of the regulators, and I put a stop to the super dying business. Okay. Need the new group of regulators. Oh, sure, no problem. What you got for me? Lords of Death. Okay. Regulators I'm used to be. I know it's ridiculous. Depending on my old costume. Right. Okay. No problem. It's pretty dark at the moment. Skull's taking it in the teeth. Leader Velis Petrock. Being laying down. 
put a churn bug behind bars. I did that. Unless it's strike out the new vengeance and I still have to need your help. Yeah, I'll turn way out. Okay, uh, I know you can you. Okay, I mean, it was good in the fist fight in the back of my day, but I'm high for detail. Okay. Alright. So let's go find. We got a report to Councilman Hammett. He's over here. Alright. Let's do the old fly, fly, fly. A little bit of a super boost here. The King's Row is a pretty cool zone. Like I said, that park is nice, but at King's Row, you really start to feel the train wheels come off a bit. And you get introduced to um, some new, um, um, not villain mobs, but villain groups, basically, in the zone. There's um, Clockworks, which are like um, animated Clockworks, technically. Yeah, you've got the Skulls in here. Uh, you have the Lost, which looks like mutated beings or mutated homeless people. And uh, Circle of Thorns, which were a pain in the back of the day. Basically cultist. Okay, let's go talk to the councilman. Uh-oh. Family goons. Family is another one. Family is like a mafia kind of a little type. Whoops. There could be trouble here. I like the music ad, uh, within the more of the suspense here. Okay, is there a door over there? It's a dead end door. Okay, so I'll go on down here. Down we go. More, uh, goons and, uh, cops. So I guess you know what's gonna happen. Probably right, find the family of this arc. Buys all over the place. Alright. I've got to put my system pet down here. This is this uh, starter pet you can get from the uh, pay to win vendor. And it gives me like a small bonus to resistance and damage, I think. Alright. Nope. Have no fear, counselor. Energy pigeons here. Um, oh. Are you okay, buddy? At first look, Councilman Hammett appears to be unconscious. But you see his cold, lifeless eyes and look of terror frozen on his face. He is very, very dead. Determined cause of death. You can definitely do that. Funny, a single cut to Hammer's right hand. While it's deep, it's not lethal. Scald his own blood upon his shirt whenever you read the following message. The Lord's death are watching. Suddenly so hear voices somewhere in the building. The voices. Leave or defeat family goons? Hey. No retreat, no surrender. Uh, these low-level mobs are basically uh, uh, guns and brawl powers. I think it's too serious. Um, the higher-level, the higher-level family mobs have like uh, you get like tank super strength and vulnerability. I can't remember what else? I can't remember what else they have actually. It's not terrible. I know, split these guys. They're not, they're not a much of a problem. Nobody leaves here alive. Find them. All right. Bring it. It wasn't hard to do with these guys. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck on a body. I uh, have to go up, I think. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. So. Up, 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 up. Now, thank goodness I've played this for like years and years and years, so I actually remember what the maps are. Otherwise, you could get lost in here if you're not careful. Oh, there's some more guys. Oh, that's a good pack, actually. That could be a trouble here. Yeah, I'm gonna be trouble. Crap, stun. 
Okay, discretion is always a better part of value. value. Like I said, I've got almost zero health. You know what? We'll just get out of here. Yeah, okay. So, like, you know, two or three at once isn't a problem, but when you get into, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, six of them, it's a little much for my little blaster to take. But you know what? We're safe. <laughs> so let's go our contacts. Oh, we can call them. All right. Don't beat yourself up about it. You did everything you could with the information you had. Now we have more information. The assassin is certainly a member of the Skulls. Certainly as the family is involved. Energy Pigeon. Over the years to trust my instincts. My instincts are saying there is more to this than the family's letting on. There are biggest happening here and we're really thought. All right, what else we got to do here? So we'll contact some tabs going to the family. I know down most likely the assassination seems to Councilman Simmons, press conference. Do you mind the Skulls are assassination? All right. Like paying a bowl on our own forehead. I'll go over to her office right away. This mission is higher difficult than normal. You want to bring some teammates. Uh, well, you know what? <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. Actually, am I close to the vendors? No, I'm not. Okay. If I was close to the vendor, I might actually stop in and uh, pick up some uh, inspirations. Maybe some heals, whatever. I got two res. These these light uh these light blue ones here will bring it back to life. But uh this could be my first mistake. We'll see. The good news is I'm below level ten, so there's no debt when I die, the XP. But uh we're gonna find out real quick. Zoom. Bump. Alright. Baby steps. Maybe if you arrived too late. All right. How would you do that? Sniper blast off to, uh, oh, there we go. That might make things easier. I came in here as level nine, level up right away. So basically um, all the mobs are still geared toward level nine. It still might be touch and go, but I'll take it. Also got all those extra bonus inspirations for leveling up for a short period of time. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. Alright. Look at that. Like cake. Let's use my reveal power. Alright. We want to go down that way, obviously, I think. Head for that elevator. Oh, crap. And that's a miss. Don't forget what I said. Um, enhancing your powers with damage enhancements is okay. Uh, but you're better off focusing on accuracy. Because if you can't hit... You know, all the damage world is gonna help you. All right, let's pop that. Make some room. That little, how do you do? Accuracy going. I never should have used that. Maybe we'll do that. I'll take these three, turn them into a healing. I might do that later. And drop my pet again. There we go. Yeah, I'll put that too. Mm. Just a power from the uh, holiday I didn't use. Long range snipe. There we go, sniper shot. It's almost like a race when you're playing a blaster. The first shot you fire is gonna aggravate the group of mobs. What you wanna do basically is you know, wipe them up if they can reach you. I think 
We're okay here. We'll keep going. Open the door. Tab, tab to the mobs. I always go for the highest mob of basically difficulty. Hey, it's Energy Pigeon. Waste them. Like, come get some. Hey, Draywalk. Oh, how's it going, man? Let's play some City of Heroes. As the Energy Pigeon. Uh, where's the elevator? I probably went the wrong fucking way. Oh, no. Here's the elevator. Will we find Councilwoman Simmons alive or dead? That is the question. It's going. <laughs> yeah. Last couple days at work was pretty hectic myself, I must admit. Just looking forward to kick back, relax. Arrest some uh, villains, save the day. Can't complain. What do you what have you been playing lately? Anything interesting or... Miss, 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 I tell you. Alright. Hear my battle cry. Screech! <laughs> Outriders. I've heard a lot of people have been to that game. I might have to check it out. Not sure it's my style, but like I said, a lot of people are having fun with it. That's what really counts. Come on, you mafia ripoffs. Come get me. This pigeon's too much for you. You a football fan at all? I know a lot of people have fallen all that. Playoff nonsense. I'm not a big football fan. I said I watch people cheering for Buffalo and all these teams that make it. Uh, being Canadian, I do follow hockey. Like I said, I'm not religious about it. I do watch the playoffs. I do have a hockey team. It's the Florida Panthers. It's a long story why I, I cheer for the Florida Panthers. Um, I do enjoy watching soccer, aka football, and uh, that's really about it. Oh, oh, oh. I can swing around here, something behind me. Inspiration's full. Uh, I'll use a de defense improvement. All right, where's the councilwoman here? Councilwoman Simmons, are you still alive? Am I going to get ambushed? That's the question. It's almost in the map here, I hope. All right, can I get one out quick? No. See, with that uh, sniper shot, uh, it, it can be interrupted. So if they hit me, um, you know, that's it. I can try again, but I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, so this capo here, this muscle, uh, it's it's got uh, superpowers basically. That's that's a super strength going off. Eat a green for some help. Finish him off. Why did I level up going to this uh, mission there? That could have been uh, come out a entirely different way. Even still, though, I was my health was pretty low. Alright, let's talk to the nice lady. Are you here to kill me? Nope, I'm here to protect you. Then why'd you just knock out my entire security detail? Oh, security? Those are family goons, ma'am. Yes, uh, Sebastian Foss probably made some of his boys security, but it was anything illegal. The Skulls are targeting city officials or putting them on their feet down. Kind of super okay, yeah. Oh, the family wants to stamp out Super Nine King's Row. 
Curious, do you do you feel that? Feel what? I said. Um. That that doesn't look good. Morana, I'm not sure what this is. Anytime you see a named villain in orange, that's usually not a good thing. Lucky she's only orange. If it was red, it might be a different story. <laughs> Pardon me. But you can see I am missing a fair amount. Next time you're pitching, the Lords of Death are watching. Okay, well. Squeaked out that pretty good. I don't know what to say. Start at the beginning. Frost gave me some very sensible proposal. He wanted me to clear his family name. Say something like that. I believe he was doing good for the Pharaoh's name, but I don't know. Okay, what else you got? I as I understand difficulty part decision. Set for your eye. You can talk about it. Hey, Frazy! It's my husband Carl. You see, he's very ill, be honest. Secret cause of illness. First of all, since Albert would live without fear, the only going across the friends come by. Oh, a bribe. You know what? So I got a choice here. So this councilman basically uh, struck a deal with the family, which is like a villain mob in this game. It's a mafia superpowered family. Protect her from the skulls. Um, but they're both evil. So it's a bribe, but you know what? As a good pigeon of the city, I'm gonna keep her secret. Maybe your position is council. Thanks for the second chance. So like I said, I gave her a second chance. I'm not that much of a of a of a pigeon dink. How's it going, Freezy? Hope you're having a good night. Just playing some city heroes. Got my energy pigeon out. So I've got to level up here, so I better go and find my trainer and level up. Where is my trainer? Blue Steel, so we'll go see them. You know what? Uh, let's do this before I forget. So I plan to stream again Thursday night, 8 o'clock. I'm on the SP Raid Train. And in honor of Freezy coming by and supporting my last stream almost the whole hour. I was really touched by that. I'll be streaming retro games with an Indiana Jones theme. So I know I've got two games in that uh, service, the Ant Stream service. Uh, I think there's Indiana Jones, the Metro Atlantis, which is a point-click game. And there was another Indiana Jones game in there, some kind of a side-scrolling adventure. I'll be playing those for sure on Thursday night. You want to stop by and check that out. And I hope probably either Wednesday or Thursday on my TikTok, I'll be doing another Retro Minute. I'll be breaking down Raiders Lost Ark using my trading card. So check it out. I'm on TikTok, Gutshot Clown. Get on there. Give me a follow. Give me a new level of power. What do you gotta get from me here? Yeah, blah 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 blah. Okay, uh, new inspiration. I can have that. Never saw that. New power. Recipes, items. Okay, so I get new power. All right, what do we got here? And uh, energy power blast. Uh, short distance. Energy torrent. Cone. Or we're going to do these ones here. Hmm. If I got torn. I get another attack. Or I can actually get one a power that actually builds me up. Ah, uh, torn. You know, I'm going to skip build up. Probably for the better. Probably not very wise. Uh, but I'm going to go for power burst. So let me just. Um, power burst. Yeah. That down there, I think. Just have, so I have another power to uh, to fight with. All right, contacts. I'll give our old friend Eagle Eye a call. Eagle Eye and Energy Pigeon. Go figure. Yeah, they're my contacts. Our Frost's family have been dealing with some okay. Okay, no problem. Yep, they're uh, bribing the councils for the drug. Apparently, Skulls have told Frost's family to find someone else to peddle their drugs for them. Oh, I oh, found someone. Sorry. Way to super dine. All right, fine, Dandy. Oh, what character am I playing? Awesome. I am playing. Uh, so we're going to go like just out here. I am playing Energy Pigeon. It is a level 10 uh, blaster energy energy. And uh, he's got the uh, head of a pigeon and uh, a normal feet. <laughs> I started this character a couple weeks ago and I thought I'd just keep doing the playthrough. Energy Pigeon? It's one I made myself. Uh, in City of Heroes, you can make your own hero. 
Um, this one basically is a, another another PC called My Blingaling. Someone made, and over here is Kilmar. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I literally just uh, got into the game one night to start up for uh, SP and randomly rolled uh, an appearance. This is what came up. But there are over a thousand combinations of possible, uh, well, thousands and thousands uh, combinations of costumes. You can make anything you want. Don't make anything a copyright infringement on here, but you can. Uh, like I said, it's great. Actually, I just did a video um, on YouTube, a 10 minute video about costuming. And my first video shows how you make your own costume. No, you can go in here with a concept. Say you want to make basically a, you know, a tall, slender female superhero with spiked armor. You could probably make it. And like I said, this is the beauty of the game. You could probably spend hours inside the costume creator, making your own concept. I love it. All right, Stranger so Quest. This takes a cake. Are you sharing the service? Skull. Oh, undercover of the skulls. Yes, please. Here's my disguise. I'm pretty sure that uh, a guy with a pigeon head going into the skulls is going to look totally like not even stuck out. Hot girl. Hawkman hot girl. Yeah. No, Neil make Great. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I... um, And there's wings. There actually is a... Okay, I'll go here. There's actually uh, wings, too. You'd have capes, wings. I'm not sure if... Oh, jetpacks, too. So as you can see in this mission, I'm infiltrating the skulls, and they gave me a disguise. Can't even tell in the energy picture right now. This is a fun mission because I don't have any of my normal powers. I've got the skulls' uh, brunt, uh, brawling powers and their little little gun powers. So I need to listen to the skulls' conversation. Hey guys, it's just me. I'm a skull. How you doing? Don't mind me. Man, Shattered... This is Shattered Jaw? Won't let me go upstairs. He says, I don't think it's going to be a deadhead. Try the ribcage if you lose. They ain't no dice. I Oh. So I guess I got to fight in the ribcage. <laughs> Hope you're having a good night there, uh, Frazy. Hope your day was doing good. Hope things weren't too crazy. What's the hurry, Chief? I want to go upstairs. So you got to fight. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go up and uh, knock the living dust out of him. So, Frazy, do you have a favorite superhero or supervillain? Like I said, mine, I guess, it would have to be one of the top five for me is uh, Shazam. That's the DC Captain Marvel. Uh, Billy Batson says Shazam and turns into the guy wearing the red suit and white cape. I always love that character. So I go upstairs to talk to Bone Dust. So this is what they do. They have a, like a, a fighting, you know, the rib cage. And if you succeed, you get to be promoted to the rings of the skull. Other superheroes I, I enjoy, um, probably Spider-Man. Yeah, like I said, I'm not too many, too many heroes I don't like. Let's see what Bone Dust has to say. Like, you want to try out and join the rings of the Bone Daddies? Yeah, that's right, man. Well, you sound ready. Sorry, the ribcage proves that you are not. I have like 20 people superheroes. I'm ready. Yeah, and no, I'm not afraid of death. Dying on danger. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, Shazam, Spider Man. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. Like, it's only hard. Uh, there's not there's not too many superheroes I don't like, to tell you the truth, basically. All right, so I have to go over here. I know a lot of obscure superheroes too. <laughs> Iron Man, oh man, Tony Stark, yes. Batman, hey, who doesn't love a billionaire guy with uh, lots of money and toys? Robin Nightwing, you know what? I think Robin needs um needs more uh, more comics, more attention. Wonder Woman, yep. Diana Prince. I was very enamored by watching the uh, old Disney shows with Linda Carter. That uh, Wonder Woman on TV was was not Miss TV. Oh no, not now! What do you mean not now? The PPD are storming the building. You are in energy pigeon. You have to get out of there. Uh oh. 
Okay, uh, how'd I get out of here? This is the Paragon Police Department. We have the building surround it. Oh no! Come out there, hands up, and you can all end peacefully. Let's send those pigs a message. You know what? Let's get out of here. Listen to the police. All right. I like Wonder Woman. Yeah. Batman. I love reading 80s Batman. Oh crap. I don't want to go. How do I get out of here? This way, maybe? Okay. Captain America. Yep. Thor. Yeah, Thor is always a weird comic to read. Beast? Oh, yeah. Hank McCoy, all the way. All the way and all day. I must admit, I clicked at Captain America Comics and Knights. I might still have them over my bin in the corner here. Um, but I have the whole thing where he was not Captain America, they brought the US agent. I like that storyline. Beast, Thor. Didn't read a lot of Thor, though, when I was young. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, Silver Surfer! Oh, man. That was a trippy comic to read back in the 70s and 80s. Some of that uh, Jack Kirby art. Um, love Silver Surfer, actually. Because you had this concept of a super, super powered superhero, right? Like the power of Cosmic. I remember I used to have a comic where uh, he met Bruce Banner... Help Bruce ba Bruce Banner helped him escape Earth, whatever, and uh, had to go back and save him uh, because he was on his board and fell off and all that. I remember that quite well. All right, confront Vélez. I wouldn't mind a good su a good Silver Surfer movie or even show. I I remember they had the cartoon, the uh, Silver Surfer cartoon that wasn't too bad. Ah, Ghost Rider. Okay, I love Ghost Rider. Oh man. Now are you Johnny Bla Johnny Bay Johnny Blaze or uh, Danny Kitsch uh, Ghost Rider? Because uh, I remember reading the '70s Ghost Rider comics. I got to kick all those. I think I might still have the Ghost Rider Collected Graphic Novel, the collection basically. Just have the comics one through ten. I like that one. Um, Johnny Blaze, please. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Black Panther. You know what? Um, oh, okay. We got to break up a rave. No problem. I didn't mind Black Panther, but I really took the movie um, to really say, yeah, this hero has some potential. Captain Marvel. Oh. That one's going to enter the comic, comic history, too. One thing I think of when I think of Captain Marvel was uh, always reminds me that um, Rick Jones who was seen to be like involved in all the superheroes, comics, you know, the human buddy psychic. Never made one appearance in the movies. I guess they really, really need them. Aquaman? Yeah. That's a guy that's never really gotten a fair shake, if you ask me. Need to get some help here. Uh, Rick Jones? Yeah. Doctor Strange is always good and, good and trippy. Yeah, Rick Jones was like, um, gosh. He was Captain America sidekick. He was Captain Marvel sidekick. He was Captain Marvel. He was an honorary Avenger. Um, in the 80s and 90s, he was in everything. I'm not sure if he was like, um, I don't know, a way for the way for the reader to kind of bond with the heroes. Like, hey, here's an average everyday Joe. Ant Man. Yep. I was doing Ant Man, and I was very happy when they. Um, did the movie? I thought the movie was done quite well with Paul Rudd. Clean them out as we go here. There were a couple Iron Mans, I think. Well, you've seen in the in the movie, right? That uh you got the suit from the original Ant-Man. That's what it was like in the comics, too. Yeah, Spider-Man. Who doesn't love a good Spider-Man? Daredevil. Oh, man, who can't forget Daredevil? So, Spider-Man, I have the 67 cartoon on DVD. And um, I'd watch that thing, you know, eight years old, 
it's lunchtime. I'm eating a grilled cheese at my little kitty table. And I'm watching the Spider-Man cartoon on CBC. Comics are hit and miss over the years. But Daredevil, man, I, I, I always enjoyed a good Daredevil comic. Love the Netflix series. Charlie Cox is Daredevil. Luke Cage? Oh, man. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to go back and read the old Luke Cage comics from the 70s. Because uh, he did have... He was written to talk with a specific speech pattern that I won't repeat here because it's just kind of stereotypical, I say. Oh, we have a problem. Cutscene. But um, I always love the character. I like the fact that when he stirred it, he was like, you know what? I'm going to be a hero for hire. And uh, people can pay me to help him out. Look at that. The villains. And uh, he always paired with Iron Fist. It was always kind of like his conscience. But uh, I've got a panel saved. And here's a story from like like one of the 70s. Uh, oh, trolls. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I got a panel saved. So what happened was like in 70s or 80s. Get this. This is a legitimate comic uh, storyline. Uh, Doctor Doom hires Luke Cage to go and trash the Fantastic Four's headquarters for some reason, whatever, right? A job's a job. So he does it, and there's a kind of misunderstanding. They got straightened out. Luke Cage goes back to Doctor Doom and says, Okay, I've done what you, I've done what you want. Pay me my money. And Doctor Doom says no. So then Luke Cage starts trashing Doctor Doom's castle. And Doom is like in a panic and all this. So finally, um, he stops. And Doctor Doom agrees to like pay him. And and the, the scene I have basically is Doctor Doom is congratulating him uh, for being like, you know, like you know, a, a good opponent. And there's a scene of Doctor Who Doctor Doom reaching into a set of dresser doors. <laughs> Pulling out a whack of cash. It says, here you go. $250 as we agreed. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but that's a typical 80s comic moment. That Dr. Doom tried to stiff Luke Cage for $250 for not trashing the, uh, you know, for trashing the Fantastic Four's headquarters. Oh, man. That's a far cry from, like, the Hush storylines. And uh, Christ's infinite earth that we, that we got to grow in love. Yeah, Aquaman is always a weird one to write into, yeah. Like I said, I I remember going down to the corner store um, and buying comics I ran from a rack. You never know what you're going to get. And uh, just losing myself in the stories. I don't collect as many comics they do today. Um, basically, there's so many of them. And it's really hard for me to get into some of the stories and all that. And it's been a while. I used to collect um, any kind of limited series. Like like a four-part or six-part limited series. I might have to collect it. Give it a try. But it's, it's been a while. Here we are going through the rave. Beating up skulls. Looking for Guard Guards, Rescue the Ravers. Jam, jam, man, yeah. One of the most craziest comics series that I haven't finished actually being able to read them all, but okay, get this, I'm dead serious. DC did a crossover with Looney Tunes. I'm talking Bugs Bunny, Yosemite Sam, uh, Foghorn Leghorn, no word of a lie. And I think I have a comic. I managed to get one of them. And it's uh, Jonah Hex crossed over with Yosemite Sam. And it is like one of the most bizarre comics I've read. And I couldn't put it down because I, I, I had to see, to see it to believe it. I better heal up here for my rest. But yeah, a Google DC Looney Tune crossover. You look for some really weird comics. Yeah, to hydrate. Yeah. That's good water. All right, for those of you tuning in or watching for a while, sitting in silence, thanks for watching the stream. 
your old pal Gutshot Clown, the original gangster gamer, child of the 80s, and true believer. Playing City of Heroes here, playing my rolled made character, uh, Energy Pigeon. It was a level 10 now. Energy, bla energy, energy blaster. I'm just trying to confront one of the leaders of the rave here. While he's sneaking up on them. So I don't get my blaster butt kicked. Like I said, it's not too bad. The yellows and oranges on difficulty level. And I'm taking on one at a time. A pack of three yellows. That might be uh might be a might be trouble. I might go this way actually. I got a feeling I had to defeat all the uh, mobs in this area. So I'm gonna go down and around this way. Wouldn't mind having a bit more uh Inspirations. They're not dropping like they used to. Let's swing around here. Uh, they're all yellow, so I'll take that. It'll snipe from long range. Pow. And that's a miss. Uh, that's not good. The good news is I was able to uh, take them out if I got too close. That um, power burst isn't a bad power, but it does take a chunk of energy out of me. I better uh, start looking at investing in um, enhancements that will uh, keep my endurance up. As a blaster, if you're running solo, one of the major problems going to have, apart from being very squishy, is keeping up that endurance level to uh, fire your powers. And right now, I haven't put a lot of uh, investment into my enhancements for my powers. The general rule of thumb, basically, you just want to kind of wing it to level 20 two or so and start buying um, enhancements that you won't basically um, level out of. But I haven't, I haven't done even some basic investment in some of the basic stuff, which I should. Yeah, I'm still half a half jump too bad. Gonna be a tough one. I'm gonna try to go to the side here, see if I get a shot in my. Oh, that's gonna be long range, all right. Ah, that's a miss. All right, this is gonna get ugly. I'll have to try and keep them at range. Get my pet again there. I find that uh, mobs will attack the pet first, so it's like an extra layer of protection, basically. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep, I know it's going to happen. All right, so I think in front of a way I can use a res. I'll just back up here. So this will bring me back to, like, 25% of my original health. I'm stunned for a bit. So I'm going to back up away. Get out of uh, Argo range of the mob here. Once I'm unstunned here, I'll rest and get my energy back up. I guess I've got a little bit of debt. That bar when it's kind of like shaded that dark purple or that dark gray, that means you got debt. What that means is basically you got to earn back that XP first before you start gaining XP again. That's the only penalty for dying. Oh, that's why you're here. All right. What we got going on here? Let's try and pop that one off with the uh, snipe again here. Hey, Yami, how's it going? I'm just trying not to die here in my City of Heroes mission. How are you been making out? I know you've been working some pretty long days lately.
just got smoked in one of these mobs here. Doing pretty good. Just trying to save some ravers from uh, some evil dark powered superheroes. Vision? Oh man. Yeah, I gotta admit, uh, the movies and WandaVision really uh, changed that character's view of me. Vision was always kind of cool, but um, that really changed it. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Man, what I wouldn't give for uh, some kind of stun power at this point. Might be okay, there's only yellow. Oh, whew. The Super Dine is just the means to the end. You know, if you're stronger than I am, I give up. Let's interrogate him. Hey, you're as strong as... Yep, sure I am. He's a fury after all. Where'd he go? In the lab with Ada, leader of the trolls. Ha 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 ha. I believe this is do you. Where's the lab? It's not a damn thing really you can do it. Tell me to tell you. Tell me, scumbag. You're right. I might kill like you and your buddies. You know what? Tell me, scumbag. Or what? You'll kill me? Even if you had me, just scare me, hero. Fear you ain't got nothing. Here's a message for him. When you see him in hell, tell him he understands my energy vision. Knock him out. Put my beacon on him. There we go. Now I can get out of the mission. I can clear the mobs, but I'll just get out of the mission. Yeah, vision. I gotta say, that was interesting here when they first created him. He went and became that pale character. Yeah, vision is interesting. Like I said, I think uh, the actor Paul, oh, that's terrible. Look at his name. Um, he has Vision and does a great job as Vision. If you haven't seen WandaVision, you gotta check it out. All right, what do you got for me? Energy Pigeon, what that? Your track away shows uh, the Royal Refinery. What are you doing there? Find one of the skulls. Are you them? okay? Amazing work, my friends. We've got those behind bars on the run. The skulls are going back looking for wounds. Okay, what else you got for me? The finale. Okay, I gotta finish this mission before I, I sign off. Assuming Black Breaker was about to appear his skulls to the lab, let's go get him. Oh, I smell this one. Good luck. Thanks. Superman? Oh, man, I tell ya. Uh, what can I say about Superman? Like, that's usually the first superhero we discover, I think, in our youth, no matter what. Uh, and there's a hit and miss over the years of, of the stories we read, but I've always enjoyed Superman. Uh, movie wise, I am an un, I, I'm an unabashed Brandon Ruth fan. I like uh, Superman Returns, and uh, I did enjoy his portrayal of the older Superman in the TV show. Was it there? Uh, Crisis? No, I'm um, thinking. There's a big uh, crossover uh, with uh, like Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, Flash, and all that. They did the um, Crisis and uh, Super uh, Infinite Earth, basically. He also now played. Um, the Atom in in uh, Legends of Tomorrow I also played Superman too, which I thought was great. No problem, Yanni. I'm just glad you stopped by to say hi, man. I always appreciate that. And Flash? Yeah. My uh, daughter. Watch me pan looks Batman. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think Robert Pattinson has the chops to be a good actor. I just think, like, Leonardo DiCaprio, he's never been given the chance. I think it's going to be... More the grittier, darker Batman that we were familiar with in the 90s. The Riddler? I'm not sure about that yet. But I think there's potential there. So I am... Uh, I'm cautiously optimistic. And no, I'm not a Christian Bale Batman fan, unfortunately. No, gotta go do another cutscene here. But I'm looking forward to uh, Robert Pattinson as Batman. But The Flash? Uh, my middle child... Uh, Sister Flame, who gets her name from being Sister Flame here on City of Heroes. She played it for almost for a super long time. I don't know. Six. Uh, oh, who knows? But she was a minor uh, minor celebrity on here. She is a big Flash fan, and you know, I always thought he was a cool. I'm kind of looking forward to the new Flash movie only because um, Michael Keaton's a comeback as Batman. <laughs> um... You know what, Frazy? I wanted Ben Affleck to do more Batman. I think him doing a solo Batman movie with his vision would have been great, in my opinion. I think it was under totally under uh, totally uh, a miss there. Well, 
I think what's going to happen, basically, is it'll be an alternative universe of Batman. He'll come back to help something out, but I think he'll spend more time as mu as uh, Bruce Wayne and not as Batman. That's what I'm thinking. I have hope. But, um, yeah, Ben Affleck is Batman. I thought he always did a good job. Uh, Justice League, I thought was uh, a train wreck of a film. And I always thought there was uh, three different movies going on to that one. Like three different, you know, scripts going on to that one. And I'm disappointed I'm not going to see like a solo Batman film with Ben Affleck. Because uh, I thought he did a good job. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing more of them, but unfortunately won't. But that Flash movie has me curious only because, like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Keaton Batman fan. I saw the film in 89. I was in the theaters. And to describe what it was like seeing that on the screen... Because uh, we saw that film after a drought of superhero films. We had Superman, one and two, and then we got three, and then four, and then just went whoosh. And then Hollywood stayed away from making superheroes for a long, superhero movies for a long time. And then uh, they tried Batman. They announced Michael Keaton as a Batman, and they would have thought basically, um, you know, they were threatening to kill kittens or, or you know, drown them in a bag, or drown them in the river or something. Because we were so incensed at how dare you cast Michael Keaton, make actor as Batman. And when it was finally on the, finally on the uh, screen, there's no question, he got it. But seeing that in the movie theater is probably, like I said, it was one of those movie moments in time you never forget. I remember getting the Batman VHS for Christmas one day, one, one, one year, and we must have watched that tape hundreds of times. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, you know, Mike Keaton back, you know, as Batman one more time, or as Bruce Wayne. Works for me. If you don't mind getting some more inspiration, I'm going to be running low, for that's for sure. Like I said, for the Flash, I'm cautiously optimistic. Same with the Batman too. That was a kick out of the Flash. I got a Flash comic. Uh, like I said, I got a big bin of comics behind me here of some of my old favorites. And I think I've got. I don't know if I call it Flash One or Flash Fifty, but I think it's. Um, I was a Barry West or Wally West. Anyway, server took over for the original Flash. Um, basically, it doesn't become the Flash, but it proves himself that he's worthy of the Flash. It's pretty good. All right, this is getting kind of tough now. So, we have any Incredibles fans in the in the chat? Well, that was another one of my probably one of my favorite Pixar movies. Only because I like that that family dynamic going on. Oh, level up. Gotta like that. That still may not be enough to uh, to make it through this uh, mission. Oh, that's never good. Oh! He's friggin' red. Oh! Knock it off! Oh, man. I'm gonna run and gun this one. He summoned a pet. He summoned a Grave Knight. I'm not doing too bad. I'm down to half red. But one bad move, and I'm toast. Oh, me too. I, I watch every so often. Me and Tree watch every so often. All right, so I can talk to him. Wrong. Slave manager from the Inferno. What? Do not fear death. Oh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Jack, Jack. Yeah. All right. Um, where's where's the manager? Jack, Jack. Huh? Something strange happened. Jack, Jack. There we go. When in doubt, go to the back of the thing. These bone daddies are trouble too. They got dark powers. I love um the short Jack, Jack attack. Um. Watch it over and over. We used to uh, pretend we were um, 
uh, Kari all the time. You know, Mrs. Fire, something strange is going on with the baby. Let's look at flashcards. That wasn't too bad. I just like the family dynamic because they are like our. Uh... Okay, come on with me, man. They are a superhero family. But, uh, oh, I gotta find my way out of here. Dang it! Or maybe not. Alright. Are you following me? Come on, dude. Hey, <laughs> crazy. You are number one, everybody. Freezy16, number one fan of the chat. She cashed it in. Uh, so let's go give her the praise. She'll be known as number one for the rest of the stream, which might be too long. Random fact about me. All right, here's something totally random. Um, I'm not religious or anything by any stretch of the imagination, but I am baptized, went to Sunday school. But here's a fun fact. Uh, the priest that baptized me was uh, took a trip to the Holy Land and came back with a vial of water from River Jordan. Which is probably one of the you know holiest holiest rivers in you know in, in theology. Uh, he baptized me with water from River Jordan. So I think that's basically uh, uh, something special about me, basically. And I know it sounds kind of dumb, but I do kind of attribute my good luck to that. I've seen the Big Bang Theory about six times already. You know, I watch it on and off when it's on, but when it was like uh, When it was on, like, the first couple of years, I, I never missed it. I just enjoyed it was being so crazy. Oh, sometimes a little too close to home sometimes, too, being a, a geek like that. You know what? It's on up here, too. I forget what service it's on as well. I want to tell you something that's really weird. I never watched the original run of The X-Files. True story. Um, I don't know what it was about. Maybe I was just trying to be, you know, I was too cool to watch The X-Files or... I was really into it because it was like major hype. It was like Games of Thrones back then when it premiered. Uh, but I am rewatching it now. And I think I'm through the first four seasons and it is surprisingly good. So I really can't complain about that. I've got to finish it because, um, like I said, it, if, if anybody's looking for something to watch, I seek out the X Files if you haven't watched it. Everybody complains about not having anything to watch in streaming or, uh, or like, you know, everything's the same old, same old. Go back, watch the X-Files. Watch SG-1, Stargate 1. Excuse me, it's on Amazon Prime. I'm watching that. Uh, what is there? Some good classic. I got another good one, too, for you. Orphan Black. Watch that series. It'll blow your mind. And it's Canadian. All right. Let's put... Uh, that's maxed out. So I'm going to add a power to... Uh, for now. All right, I should call it because I've been at this for a nice hour and I've got other adulting things to do, unfortunately. So, I'm going to switch over to my just chatting here. So, everybody who's stuck around to watch me, thanks, Johnny, Crazy16. You're all great people. Like I said, I have great friends in SP. And I love chatting about geek facts with Frazy, like you. Like, it's just so amazing. Like I said, um, I, I love that you stopped by this stream, my last stream. So on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be on the SP Raid Train. I will be streaming Retro Arcade on the at stream service. And I will be playing a couple Indiana Jones uh, games. One is a point-click adventure, Indiana Jones Escape from Atlantis, which you have to see to believe. And the other one I think is called Indiana Jones Adventures, and it's kind of a mismatch of all Indiana Jones adventures in a sky in a side-scrolling format. I've got to practice one a bit because it's actually kind of a bit hard to play, and I might even wear a fedora for a while if I can uh, see how it fits my fat head. And also, in honor of Free Easy Sixteen, because you know, like I said, I enjoy your support. My next TikTok Retro Minute, where I break down a movie with my trading cards, my non-sport trading cards, will be Raiders of the Lost Ark. So keep an eye on my TikTok for that. So, everybody, thanks for coming by. Really appreciate it. Drop me a follow. I don't need bits. I don't need subs. Uh, I don't need tips. All I need is uh, your follows, a uh, few views. Tell a friend. Tell a, tell a family. Tell your phone. Um, let them know. Uh, follow me on other social media. I tweet once in a while some really ridiculous stuff at Gutshot C. I start a YouTube channel to archive some of my old streams. I do how-tos on City of Heroes. I just start doing that. 
And I've got kind of a crazy TikTok account uh, on YouTube. Look for Gutshot Clown. TikTok, Gutshot Clown, one word. Uh, you got to see it to believe it. Uh, so until next time, true believers, just want to say that, remember, we live in strange times. Uh, the world's kind of created place right now, and it's okay to not be okay. So if you're suffering and not feeling well, don't suffer in silence. Speak out. Talk to your friends. Talk to your family. Uh, get help. There's no, uh, there's no shame in needing help. And like I said, I'm part of this great group called Streamers Paradise. Um, and if you're looking for an extreme support community, I'm going to drop the, uh, the uh, Discord link in the chat. Stop by, sign up, check it out. You don't have to be a streamer. If you just want to come by and chat about uh, sports, um, geek stuff, comic stuff, movie stuff. If you had a bad day and you want to rant and have it year to listen to, um, if you're experiencing a sense of loss or, or you know just not feeling well, there's someone in there always ready to listen, and there's a lot of great people in there. So get in this card and uh, check it out. Yes, retro stuff on Thursday. So until next time, it's your old pal Gutshot Clown. And um, I said until next time, be good, be safe, and uh, be smart. So see ya.